been quite a journey for you. Mm -hmm. Nine albums, 2,000 songs, mm -hmm. more than 2,000 songs. More than 2,000 This is the first thing I have to ask you. <laughs> Where in the world do you find inspiration for more than 2,000 songs? You know, I think I, it, it's, 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 the inspiration comes from God. It's a gift that God has given to me. I can look at your face and write this song. You know, and if I'm going through something that's depressing, to, I sing myself out of it. Mm. And if I'm ever happy, God, I have a song. So I think it's my area of gifting and God has decided to use it to glorify his name. And I thank God for it. <laughs> what about some of the experiences that you've had or places where you find yourself just sitting there mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you get the a song? song. Actually, most times I'm in church mm. when I'm listening to a message that is being preached. My husband is a pastor. Mm. And sometimes when he's preaching, I hear him say, He's not singing, but I'm hearing music. So when I'm taking down the notes, I take down the notes of the message and I write the song. Sometimes at the end of the day, at the end of his message, I come up and sing the message. Wow. <laughs> Let's go back a little bit to your turning point, yep. that moment when you decided to invite Jesus into your heart. Tell us a little bit about that. Now, I can't forget that day. I was in school, I was on campus. I think I was doing my second year in the university. And a friend of mine invited me for a Christian program. So I went, but there was a preacher, he was preaching. And the preacher said, he was talking about the story of um, Belshazzar, am I right? Mm -hmm. That king that misused the, the, the vessels from the temple of God. Mm -hmm. And then there was handwriting on the wall and the handwriting came. And then what was written was, uh, you've been weighed in God's balances and you've been found wanting and today, your kingdom is going to be taken from you. And then the preacher turned and asked us, how much do you weigh in God's balances? God. Wow. I had to tell myself the truth. I said, I'm not weighing much, God. And he said, if you know that you're not weighing much, why don't you just come surrender your life to Christ? That's how I found myself going out to give my life to Christ. And I'm so happy I did. There was this one moment in your life that you call the darkest moment. Yes in your life. Yes. And I originally thought it was a car accident, but you explained <laughs> to me it was something totally different. different. Tell us a little bit about that experience you had and how it really shaped your full-time ministry in terms of the music. I, I, I think we're talking about when I lost the use of my leg. Yes. My leg was paralyzed. I actually did not imagine that I would not be able to walk. I mean, I couldn't imagine what people go through when they're on wheelchair. But that was the first time because I went on wheelchair, I went on crutches, I went to people carrying me. God, I, I, I looked around and said, is this me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't move. I, you know, what happened to us? I got sick. Mm -hmm. I went to the hospital, my usual hospital. It's a good hospital. I've done all my surgeries there. So it's a hospital I trust. But this nurse made a mistake. She gave me an injection wrongly mm -hmm. and it touched my nerve and paralyzed my leg. And that was it. I couldn't move anymore. You know, I learned so many things in that my midnight experience. That was when I knew that it is not by our power that we move. You're not able to walk because you're very strong. Mm -mm. Because I, in those days, I tried everything within my energy and power and strength to move my leg. It won't follow me. I'm like, God, so it is actually you who helped me to walk. I'm not the one that has been walking all this while. And then I ended up in an orthopedic trying to, you know, that was one year of not being able to use my leg. But I remember every time I'll be in church, I will sing because every Sunday I minister in songs. And my husband was like, will you be able to sing? I said, no, the problem is with my leg, not with my mind. Give me the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> so I will sing, I will sit down. I was not able to walk, but I'll just bubble. I'll be dancing with my back. <laughs> I said, I want to make the devil really mad. He thought he could stop me, but it was not yeah. easy. It wasn't easy, Holly. But I thank God. One day in the hospital, I, uh, you know, the doctor had told me, you're going to stay this long before you can recover the use of your leg. Then, you know, I had time to watch Turning Point a lot. Then one day I was watching Turning Point. And, you know, the, the message went on and the prayer came. And I also prayed. I said, God, you know, you already know what I'm going through. I need to get up from here. And then I prayed the prayer. Do you know the very following day, the doctor came up and told me, you're fine, you can go. 
But right from that experience, I don't take any blessing of God for granted. Whenever I wake up and I can move my leg, I say, God, this is another day. I mean, this is by your power that I'm moving. <laughs> you know, so I just, it just uh, it helps me to praise God more and to appreciate God more. Let's talk about your latest album, okay. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. Tell me a little bit about the album and the inspiration behind it. Okay, the inspiration behind it is, is that in life, even in pursuing your calling, so many challenges are there. Mm. So many things try to stop you. But when you look onto the author and finisher of your faith and you are living the word of God, you become unstoppable mm. and you see God turning those things around, turning, you know, every mess the enemy tries to put in, it just gives you a message out of it. So that's how I got the, the, the song Unstoppable. And I called the album Unstoppable because personally, I had gone through a lot of stuff. And I knew that it is not by power or by might that I'm living. It is by the grace of God. So I said, every child of God, with the spirit of God inside of you, just go ahead and pursue your goal. You are unstoppable. The devil is too small to stop you. So let me hear you sing it. When God is taking you somewhere, you will get there. You will get there.